Time now for sports with Scott Breen. Welcome back, everybody. You know, Q2's Athlete of the Week was a one-man wrecking crew at the University of Wyoming. He'll be the first to admit he's no spring chicken anymore, but he's definitely ageless. Casey Conlon shows us why he's back in the headlines. Mitch Donahue was pretty excited when I told him that he had been voted as Wyoming's greatest defensive lineman ever. Then I accidentally tempered that a bit. You graduated 30 years ago. For that to, <laughs> to, still, to still hold on, I mean, that's, uh, I'm sure, humbling in a way. It is humbling, especially when you, you say 30 years ago. That's not <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, humility is one of Mitch's strong suits. After I told him, he immediately went to the poll to try and deflect credit. There was never any doubt that the school's all-time sax leader should get the nod, a feat accomplished through humility and hunger. I felt fortunate to be able to keep playing after high school. Wyoming was just, they treated me great. When you look back at, at all of the football memories that you have, where did the Wyoming ones still stack up? They're, they're the best. Donahue had plenty of big moments on his way to back-to-back -to -back WAC Player of the Year honors, but one of his favorite memories is from the final minute of a game at Air Force as a sophomore in 1988. I got my finger bit. Yeah, during the game and it was cut wide open bleeding all over the place and it was this finger not not this one but this one <laughs> and I tried to show the referee my my bit finger and I was showing it to him like this and uh, he thought I was flipping him off so he kicked me out of the game but that wasn't the end of the story my coach actually grabbed my hand and my finger and he showed the referee that I wasn't flipping him off, and he said, well, he's free to go back in. And you may be the only person ever to ever get kicked out, and then I'll talk yourself back in. Well, I did, that was Paul Roach. He was the, he was the smooth operator. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I got back in, D. Dallas, he rolled out to my side, and I was there to meet him. And I took him down and, and caused a fumble, and then uh, Sean Fleming kicked a field goal to I think we won it by one or two points. The Cowboys won more games that year than any other in program history, finishing 11-2 and, and earning a trip to the Holiday Bowl. Donahue had arrived, but as he'll tell you, he was just one piece of a special group. Our team was full of guys that were kind of undersized and underrated, uh, got overlooked by Nebraska and, and some of the big, bigger schools. You know, so... Our guys came to us with a chip on their shoulder. and Somehow we got it done uh, just through force of will, <laughs> you know. A force that became Donahue's calling card for years to come. Casey Conlon, MTN Sports. Former West star Mitch Donahue looks like he could still play, and a big reason, he was voted best defensive lineman of all time for the Wyoming Cowboys. We're back in a moment.